this 2011 model Mercedes-Benz ML350 is an update and it's in stunning condition. It's got the 3.5 litre V6 petrol engine which is about 200 kilowatts and it looks like it's got the AMG pack as well with the bigger wheels and the side steps. I haven't seen a lot of these in a 350 petrol as you've probably noticed most of them are diesels. The 350 petrol is a very good engine. It's powerful, smooth and economical. It's black with black interiors you can see. It's done just 58,000 kilometres since new and is in particularly good condition. It really is quite remarkable for a family car. It's got continental tyres. You just look front to back. It's absolutely lovely. It's got two remote keys. Every service has been done at a Mercedes-Benz dealership. The last service being done at a Mercedes-Benz in the Hunter Valley. It's got a tow bar which looks like it's been used once. It's got the nice body kit. There's the tow bar. It's got tinted windows. It's got the rear cargo barriers. Well, it's great. They get lost and when they get older can get broken over the years. The back seats fold down completely flat. There's the spare. On the back there you've also got a cargo barrier and that wrapping it doesn't look like it's ever been used. And really is a very impressive car. They're becoming very good value for a 2011 model. The wheels are in great condition. The interior is excellent, it doesn't look like it's had a baby seat in it or anything on that which would obviously be pretty common, you'd often see some dents down the bottom of the seat there. As I said, for a car with the two keys, a full Mercedes-Benz service history, it really is very impressive. We'll start it up as well. It's also got the much newer looking headlights, very similar to what you'd find on the what's called the Grand Edition. And the body kit and the wheels really do make it look fantastic. It's obviously the ML63 AMG kit and the AMG wheels. But I think it might be the first petrol um, update series we've had. As I said, a lot of them are diesel. Let's jump inside and start it up. So it's Bluetooth, it's got Bluetooth, it's actually Bluetooth ready. Turn the lights on so I can see the switches. You've got your adjustable suspension with sport and comfort settings, hill descent control as well. You can even at the touch of the button uh, make the suspension go up a little bit, which is great. There's your stereo. It, it is Bluetooth ready, you don't have to get any other devices or anything like that, which is brilliant. It's got front and rear parking sensors as well. And it's just a very, very nice car all around. The steering wheel's in very good condition, all the buttons and switches. You know, the lights often they get a bit sticky around here. It just looks very good indeed. So I'll just have a quick look through. Amazingly, the trip computer hasn't been reset for a while. They don't reset the trip computer when you get a service, you have to do it yourself and they've basically never done it since they bought it new and it's saying that the average fuel consumption over the life of the car is 13 litres per 100 kilometres which is very good for a three and a half litre petrol. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch our video. We are the Old Timer Centre. We're located in Marrickville and we certainly look forward to hearing from you. We're 20 minutes from the airport.